Today, the 31st of uh, May 2021, it is a day which is uh, very, very important to the whole world and especially to the health department because it is a day that we observe as a World No Tobacco Day. And it is so important that uh, this day was uh, created by the World Health Organization and uh, in the year 1987 and this is uh, created because it the whole world has seen that there's a lot of uh, tobacco burden whether it is a global burden whether it is a national burden or whether it is a state uh, burden the tobacco burden has uh, surpassed so many health burdens worldwide over so we are observing this day as a world no tobacco day As per survey, whether it's globally, it has been found that around about uh, 9 million people, they die every year globally because of uh, tobacco use. And uh, tobacco also, it comes in different forms. It can be in a smoking form, it can be in a smokeless form, and it can be in so many forms, even in the form of vapors, whether it is uh, with smell or without smell. And there are so many tobacco products also where you can just heat them and not burning them but they have all the bad effects uh, of uh, tobacco and as we all know that tobacco has all the bad effects and uh, worldwide also you can say that tobacco use is a menace so it is important that this day is being created so the whole uh, system in the country whether it is from the ministry level or whether it is from the state level, we are very working very hard by observing this World No Tobacco Day. Here, we would like to inform the public about the ill effects of uh, tobacco, all the bad things that we get, all the diseases, all the deaths that we get from tobacco use. So this is to inform the public. And uh, we also would like to inform the public not just about the uh, health hazards. We also would like to inform the public about uh, the benefits also that you get when you do not take tobacco. And we also would like to inform the public and we would like to campaign rather not just informing against tobacco use about the tactics or the manipulative tactics or the business uh, tactics of the tobacco industries whether in a country or in the world what they are up to and what are they trying to do to capture each and every one of us especially the youth of today to get themselves hooked into this habit and we would also like to inform the public on such a day this world uh, no tobacco day about uh, what a person also can do like whether you or me can do to claim our right what are the things that we as a public also can do to claim our right to uh, a good life to a healthy life okay and and also we would like to inform the public what the health system whether it is globally or whether it is uh, nationally or whether it is in the state as a whole what are the things that we do to help the millions of uh, people who are into this habit so the whole system is here it's not just only about awareness about the tobacco diseases we are here also to uh, give an awareness about the benefits and also to bring down the burden of this whole tobacco menace in the world wide over This burden is high because when we look at the status, how many people die? They die, around about 9 million people, they die every year because of tobacco use. And out of which, 8 million people also, they die because of just the tobacco use. And uh, very interesting and more interesting information that I have here is that out of the 9 million, 1 million, they die because of uh, secondhand smoke. So this is uh, sad and pathetic that non-smokers are also being uh, brought and they become victims of someone else's tobacco use. So this is very scary 
especially when we look at the data of the people who are dying due to exposure to second hand smoke or passive uh, smoking that we can say so which is why this uh, world health organization they have created this day you know it's like uh, to remind everyone on this day about all these problems that everyone is facing so as per data i can say that uh, in our country in india there are around about uh, 3500 people who die every day from tobacco use and uh, and it must be increasing also let's see when the new survey comes we will see how many die but at an average around about 3500 people die in the country because of uh, tobacco use and uh, even in our state now meghalaya also the state of meghalaya has come into the national picture it has come into the national picture because meghalaya though it is a small state in the country and that also we are in the northeast we are very small in number compared to the bigger states in the country but uh, we rank very high so we rank at the top you can say we are table toppers when it comes to this so and the prevalence also let's say till date we are at 47% prevalence the state of meghalaya of tobacco use previously in the previous study it was uh, found that meghalaya meghalaya prevalence was 55% it seems it has come down but still 47% is still high i'd say so the state of ours now has to work very hard and we would be happy if we see that there's going to be a decline in the percentage of users again i would like to say uh, and inform everyone that initially according to the study it was found that the youth you know who are around uh, 17 years or 17 and a half at that age they start to initiate the use of uh, tobacco but uh, sadly i would like to say that now with the advancements of uh, production of newer generations of uh, tobacco products which comes in different forms i say that even during my awareness programs or during our school activity programs we do see that our children our young boys and girls they have started initiating initiating uh, this habit from the age of 14 15 because class 7 class 8 at what age uh, what how old uh, are they in class 7 12 years then class 8 they are 13 years 14 years so 14 13 14 years they have already started initiating themselves into this habit and uh, and uh, here in the city we can say that because of the advancements of the tobacco products and because they come in so many forms maybe in uh, attractive forms and uh, forms which are very you know you can see like uh, forms that are so attractive that no one will recognize that it's a cigar or it's a tobacco product and many um, parents also and teachers also they just uh, fail to recognize that they, these are tobacco products so but uh, thankfully there are some teachers there are some principals of the elite uh, schools in shillong they are able to identify and recognize these tobacco products that come uh, nowadays they come in the form of pens they come in the form of pen drives they come in the form of uh, heated tobacco products where you do not see uh, fumes smoke and uh, you know very attractive and so this is uh, why this uh, day is so important so we also as a program we are updating ourselves on everything so we would like to keep on reminding and keep on creating awareness on the society or in the schools or to the homes and families about the these new inventions so that we keep up with uh, all these later latest uh, models of uh, tobacco products so that we can uh, i mean we can fight this uh, problem against this uh, tobacco pandemic and uh, see now uh, even in shillong though these things are on 
but it's uh, not surprising also that when we talk about the initiation of tobacco products it's not here in the city even if we go to rural areas uh, in the villages uh, young boys over there do they do not see the smart stuffs that come nowadays but they do uh, use tobacco products which are different and uh, maybe they can start with beeries they can start with beeries or maybe uh, not cigarette maybe they cannot afford to buy cigarettes but they start with beeries but here to us it's not different whether it's beeri or it is a modified form of a uh, cigarette modified form of tobacco whether it comes in the form of duma the uh, local tobacco leaves or it comes in the form of a uh, labeled packaged tobacco product harmful effects are still the same i have tried asking many boys okay i've tried asking many boys during my experience in my awareness programs why do you smoke who smokes first then they will raise their hand some some to deal feel shy but it's natural you know that uh, out of curiosity i see that many of them is like out of curiosity and they start smoking and number 2 some of them it's peer pressure and then they hang out with friends they'll start taking little by little smoking and then you feel good they think that they feel good they look good and they are smart so they'll start with a puff not necessary one cigar they'll be sharing you know one cigar one boy will take one puff the other boy will take another puff so you know it's a smart thing you can say which uh, comes from their mouths and when you ask some they will say okay because tension because of exams because of uh, whatever because uh, we have exams it's tension but at the end of the day it's not that it, it's you know because of their age they just want to try something new they always like to, then they'll start first with cigar or then they'll start with the uh, betel nut or cigar and then they'll go and then they'll get you know that feeling good kind of an attitude you feel very good then again like i told you the tobacco industry is also very smart it doesn't uh, provide uh, raw stuffs to young boys and girls now i have mentioned just a few minutes ago that they have come with new inventions attractive things so when anything which comes in such an attractive manner so there is always that curiosity you know and urge to try something new so and especially when things come nowadays which do not smell so they think that they cannot uh, i mean they they can fool anyone you know they can uh, just do hidingly but they feel good and without taking into account that at the back of the heads at the back of the minds this uh, thing which is uh, without smoke also it's still hitting them hard so it's just a curiosity and a feeling good kind of an attitude if you see from the, what are the things see actually even without health experts mentioning what are the ill effects of tobacco without uh, anybody telling anyone what are the uh, hazards health hazards that you get from tobacco these things you know it doesn't need even just for the doctor to say every smoker leave alone the children children they'll do because of other reasons as a person who is uh, involved in himself in to taking of any tobacco of any form he already knows that it's bad stuff he knows why because there are already uh, experiences in the family or in your neighborhood or your friends you've already lost your family members you've lost your friends why cancer why stomach cancer lung cancer heart attack then uh, i can name few do you know tobacco causes over 1 in 10 heart disease deaths and breathing second hand smoke causes strokes and heart attacks no well you are not alone hundreds of millions of tobacco users are unaware that tobacco causes heart disease but now you do protect your heart and choose health not tobacco
you know what uh, what is the most uh, common cancer that arises from smoking lung cancer it doesn't uh, come only happen only in a society but the whole world this is witnessed by all smokers in the whole world if you're unfortunate enough you'll get lung cancer it is a predisposing factor big contributing factor and then when you take smokeless tobacco this duma this khaini and all the bad stuff what do you get mouth cancer stomach cancer cancer of the esophagus and in fact when we uh, talk about uh, cancers um, east khasi hills or meghalaya as a whole we are second in the country where you can say like out of 100 70% of cancers are all related to tobacco when it comes to males and when it comes to females more than 46% are witnesses are diseases all related to tobacco use so the percentage is very very high so cancer you can say it's uh, number 1 and uh, cancer of the esophagus is number 1 and now we can we actually there are so many testimonials also which we get from people who are already uh, suffering from cancer or they are they have recovered and not recovered still suffering undergoing treatment they themselves they have uh, they are, we can say the voice of victims no they have uh, given their voices that uh, they are suffering and uh, from cancer why because of tobacco see now cancer from tobacco use i can tell you that it is a preventable disease and tobacco kills you know how much half of its users there is no argument about that tobacco has already killed and it's still killing half of its users okay and and the and the best part of the story is that it uh, it is a preventable one you just imagine without smoking without taking tobacco product you live a very long life and you will not get any of these diseases okay cancer then heart attack stroke and now you we have witnessed also now boys of 35 years old age 40 45 what do they suffer from hypertension heart problem and then uh, stroke at a very young age but and uh, but when they die they, nobody will claim that it's because of tobacco and they'll say we died because of cancer let's say for the young girls or boys the skin your skin because of deprivation of proteins and oxygen proteins which are, which is very uh, essential for the elasticity of your skin that also goes it makes your skin looks very leathery and dry and wrinkled you look older than your age because uh, of the lack of proteins and nourishment to your skin and this uh, smoke has destroyed all the blood supply so you look old and then there are also so many other conditions now suppose someone who is uh, pregnant if a pregnant woman also if she smokes during pregnancy what happens if she she can deliver a still born baby why because the fetus also is deprived of the oxygen which is required so the baby dies in the womb and that is called a stillbirth and uh, there are also uh, uh, other abnormal pregnancies like they call ectopic uh, pregnancy that is also another condition where which is very much experienced also by women who smoke during pregnancy and of course there are other reasons also for ectopic pregnancies or any other abnormal pregnancy but this is also one smoking it is a contributing factor and what else do you get smoker's cough then you get uh, then this uh, and uh, a baby who is underweight and then low brain development and so on and so forth and some people they suffer from uh, gangrene and then their foot also becomes uh, they get amputated why no blood supply it becomes dead and so these are all the harmful effects of tobacco and i would like to mention there are other 100 100 and more reasons of diseases but uh, maybe i will not mention now but these are the main things your lungs your heart your blood pressure and cancer your skin then even eyes 
okay even eyes also your eyes also um, you know there are some people you know they get uh, cataract and then babies also you know they'll get some problems with the the hearing thing also gets impaired why children children also your children suffer because if the father smokes the mother takes tobacco it, it affects on the children also at home so that is also one uh, reason so vision cataract and ear problem so even your children gets affected from second hand smoke effects of uh, tobacco okay and this is not happening only in our country and it happens uh, throughout the world uh, over number 1 you can say now see uh, environment let's go first to the environment when it comes to the environment now so many people uh, i mean so many factories or industries that are manufacturing uh, cigarettes okay what do they need a person who takes a cigar he needs uh, to light isn't it the cigarette with a match box and then what happens and then uh, those uh, match sticks or cigarette butts cigarette butts also what do they uh, do they get scattered all o- over isn't it in the soil in the environment and uh, who oh, the, and then what does a cigarette butt contain a cigarette butt what does it contain it contains arsenic it contains nicotine it contains formaldehyde it contains lead all the chemicals that are very very harmful to the environment and uh, and another reason dirt when they get scattered who cleans all that definitely it's not the manufacturers number 2 laws of wood one tree one big tree is required to cure let's say to cure around about 100 cigarettes okay one tree and uh, one tree is uh, needed so you can imagine how many thousands and thousands of trees which needs to be cut to cure millions and millions of cigarettes to satisfy the tobacco users and the tobacco industries so this also has a very bad impact on the environment the dirt the loss of wood and uh, the smoke and the emissions that you get from these things and there are other injurious uh, injuries also can happen you know when someone uses an e-cigarette you can say electronic nicotine delivery system and if someone use you know what happens sometimes it explodes because it's battery operated so when you hold it in your hand it may explode and causing injury to your hands that is one uh, also harmful effect of uh, an e-cigarette and then there's another harmful uh, effect also of uh, uh, these uh, compounds they i mean they leach out you know from the tobacco products in the soil they leach out and they, they cause so much havoc in the environment and this leads to so much uh, i mean to so much defects okay to the air that we breathe in the the air that we breathe out so these are the things that are happening in the environment then when we go to the economy side see uh, economy side now let's say that cigarettes see cigarettes they are not cheap stuffs cigarettes are so expensive and uh, when i say that cigarettes are expensive you know a person he can spend uh, that money or he can use that uh, money for buying other things that are more important isn't it to his uh, life so he can uh, save that money and uh, use it for other activities which are more beneficial to his life and again another thing when it comes to cigarettes uh, again to this economy and when he falls ill or when his relative falls ill and again all that money will be spent uh, what for treatment and even the gov- the government also you know uh, the government also becomes poor the economy of the government also becomes uh, it goes down because it has to bear the government in turn do it gets a lot of revenue from uh, cigarettes but that very same money that very same money or in fact 
even more has to be spent for the treatment of the people who are suffering from cancer or any other ill effects that came from tobacco. So these are the things which are very, very preventable. So why not just uh, leave this uh, habit? And as for example, now I would like to say that even if you go to other cities where there's a lot of tobacco farming, there's a lot of tobacco farming in the in other cities. And who are the people who are doing the farming? <coughs> Villagers, small, small children. Small, small children, they are already BDE rollers, okay? So there they miss school. They are already employed with a very, very meager amount of payment. So they can't go to school, but they fall sick also at the same time. So this brings economy down and poverty. Do you know tobacco causes over 1 in 10 heart disease deaths and breathing secondhand smoke causes strokes and heart attacks? No? Well... You are not alone. Hundreds of millions of tobacco users are unaware that tobacco causes heart disease. But now, you do. Protect your heart and choose health, not tobacco. So this theme, when uh, it's being created no, as a commit to quit, because all the health experts, the whole world has seen and the whole world has witnessed all these bad effects and the hazards, occupational hazard, health hazard from tobacco, arising from tobacco. So the World Health Organization or the health system in the country and the health system in the state has recommended. This is a strong recommendation to everyone to commit to quit, you know, to bring back all the resources, the rich resources to this world, isn't it? So if we commit ourselves to quit the tobacco use, what happens? What happens? We will see that there are a lot of beneficial health changes that will take place in our body. What happens? when you're being uh, requested to commit to quit what happens you will get a longer life and you will become a healthier person and within minutes or within days you know of your committing tobacco what happens your bp comes to normal your blood your heart rate comes to normal and uh, your that carbon monoxide you can see that comes out from the tobacco product what happens it also comes in the blood it comes down to a normal level it brings down okay it, it has it comes to the normal level and then your pulse rate your heart rate then uh, what else your vision improves then you feel good then the risk of getting stroke also it's it, you know it cuts down to half to that of a smoker your breathing also becomes free Okay, your intake of uh, oxygen, your inhale, your exhale, whatever your whole breathing mechanism improves a lot. And what else happens? You get a longer life, more life expectancy you achieve. You 10 years more or 9 years more, 6 years more, 3 years more. Your whole life expectancy becomes higher when you quit tobacco. And now you can just ask anyone who has uh, quit tobacco, what does he feel? And if he's an honest person, he'll say that life has become better. And uh, what else? There's peace at home. No despair. There's no tension. And in fact, you know, uh, whoever uh, buys a cigarette, they are buying themselves. Cigarette are killers. They buy cigarette to what? To kill themselves. No one else is going to do that job. You're doing the job to kill yourself. So these are killers, so which is why we, this theme is so important, you know, just commit to quit and then your financial status also will be good. And in fact, you know, even your social life, this cigarette, you know, or, or tobacco product, it, uh, it has a lot of impact on your social life. When you don't smoke or uh, when you don't smoke, you know, it frees you 
from you know it frees you from an obligation to yourself you know what happens when you cannot mingle with anyone you will not be able to mingle with anyone if you are with your friends or with your relatives you'll have to leave the room and go and smoke outside isn't it because it becomes a part of your culture and but when you don't smoke you're free to mingle with anyone and if you do your and if in your the in the middle of doing your work you can do it continuously without having to stand up excuse yourself from everyone and go outside for a smoke see these are the bindings that you have you become a slave of your own habit these are the bindings you'll have to leave in between you'll have to and you become a poorer person that there's tension there's despair in the family then the economy of the state economy of the family and everything comes down so after seeing all these uh, all these uh, impact negative impacts that uh, impact that it has on the society it has on your own life it has on your family this theme is uh, being highly recommended by everyone now from the department we are trying to reach out to schools also and now we are looking forward to get help from the education department getting help from all the headmasters the principals to help in declaring your educational institutions as to tobacco free educational institutions where you'll have to fulfill so many criteria you know there has to be some laws there has to be some criteria within the premises of the educational institutions which will help the students and the whole faculty not to initiate at all so that is the main aim and objective of everyone of the whole health system or of the society and of the whole uh, world you can say that no child should initiate the use of tobacco though we face a lot of ch challenges from the tobacco industry who are coming up with so many attractive devices to catch hold of the young ones because the new ones either they are sick or they are dead or they are going to die okay so the tactic of tobacco industries is to catch them young they want new users request all the young boys and girls never to initiate the use of tobacco because do we recommend the users to commit and quit it's not an easy task it is very very challenging and in fact the uh, health department also will have to find ways and means how to help people to quit because on their own is difficult to quit so my urge and my sincere request is to the young boys and girls please do not be carried away and by your wishes by your wants by your friends by your peer pressure or by anybody's uh, motivation okay please do not initiate at all in fact you should be the messengers and we expect a tobacco free younger generation in the years to come okay we do not want to say that in meghalaya they meghalaya they start taking tobacco from the age of 13 or 14 15 16 or any age be it any age we do not want anyone to start boys and girls or parents discourage your children or teachers please discourage your students and maybe you can be examples also by showing them that you do not smoke so you can prove yourself to be good mentors to the young ones and uh, we we'll have to help them because they're still growing we do not want them to involve themselves in this initiation of tobacco use maybe we will have to help them get themselves occupied into other activities which are more constructive and are more healthy so this uh, with this i would like to end my talk and we expect that we will get a healthy and a tobacco free generation here in the state of meghalaya